people. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I had to go for a checkup today with my radiologist, which he checked my breasts. You know, gave me a thorough breast exam. So it was like, here the doctor walks in and then a young, another young fella comes in with him. And I'm like, wow, we're going to get to see Val's titties day, isn't it? <laughs> Did you love it when they have a um, student, you know, that comes in there? That's nice. <laughs> but anyways, everything came out. He, everything felt good, he said. After fondling my breast to scissors. Um, most of you guys know that I just went through chemotherapy for six months, 13 rounds of radiation from breast cancer stage two. Um, so that's what happened today. I got me a purple rain shirt because we love Prince, rest in peace. But I'm coming to chat about Shannon and Rev and the whole YouTube community you know, Shani and Rev, they're like my worst nightmare. Um, they're fake Christians. They're wolves in sheep's clothing, along with G-Man. I mean, I'm sorry to say I call it as I see it. I am also a follower of Christ Jesus. Um, but you know, you have to, you have to act. You have to act the way Jesus act, acted. And Shady and Rev, you do not act that way at all. You have no humility. You have no kindness. I mean, Rev, there was no, there was no point in you saying what you said the other day the word over and over and over and over that was uncalled for and that was not Christ-like. And the many, many other things that you all do, um, I'm blown away that you don't recognize that you left that townhouse in a filthy mess. You left that townhouse in a filthy mess. And your kids were sleeping on belt. And you think everything's okay. And that people were out to get you. And there was some conspiracy against you. That blows my mind. I can't believe you guys were thinking that. No. You left the place in squalor. You fled to another state. And you left all of that $700,000. You left it basically in that townhome. And now you're living with somewhere. And you got a neighbor that's G-Man. Now how do you think that's going to end up? How do you think that's going to go? My guess is it's not going to go too well. Considering Shani was a cheater on her last husband for Rev. Possibly that might happen again with G-Man. I don't know. It's not my business. You know, three sons are cool, I guess. Anyways, so listen, we have to pull together as a community. And I, I'm really liking what I'm seeing by everybody just exposing, exposing, exposing all these hypocrites, all these people that just come on here and use YouTube and their platform, just, they abuse it. They abuse it. Our children are watching that. Kids see that. You guys are really doing great. We need to get these kind of people off YouTube. It's not a place that you come and get high and just 
show your tits and fuck you bitches up oh, fucking damn hell I mean that's what you sound like Shannon I mean but hey man yeah man I can't wait neither man <laughs> I mean the shit I don't want my kids seeing that shit. I don't want your kids seeing that stuff. I don't want no one's kids seeing that. So we have to pull together and make this happen. We gotta make it happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get these people off YouTube platform. Okay? We've got to. If they're a nuisance. They're, they're terrible. Foodie Beauty, you gotta go to. In my opinion, you're freaking beezing every night. I mean, what is that, really? You want kids to see that? I mean, you don't age restrict. And there's a few other ones. Um, but, yeah, we need to get this. We need to get these people down. And, um, you know, they, you're not, YouTube is, it's like your license, you know, your driver's license. It's not a right, it's a privilege. And YouTube is a privilege. Um, speaking of, I've been on suspension from live streaming on this channel for two years now. Um, I don't know what I did two years ago, but I don't think it's half as bad as what these people have done. So, if I'm gonna live stream, it's gonna be over on my Valerie Valentine channel. V-A-L-O-R-Y Valentine. I will live stream over there. Um, I'm trying to get a hold of YouTube about why I'm suspended for two years still. Um, so I can live stream again. Um, I really want to get in and help the cause, you know. Um, not only do I want to talk about my breast cancer and make a video on that, starting the journey from start to, to finish, um, I, I want to get the, I want to expose the people that need exposed. And hopefully, with all our voices, we can get these people down. And um, that's the way it should be. We need to not let our kids see, be raised by these people. And that's what's going to happen. You've got all your girls that watch Trisha Paytas. Now they're getting older. And who was their teacher? Who was their mentor? Trisha Paytas was their mentor. Great. So, I wonder what kind of girls we're going to have running around out there now. Trisha Paytas type girls, I guess. We can't have that. We can't let that happen. We can't let it happen to more kids. Anyways, gang, I'm going to go eat some more salad. I'm trying to lose weight and exercise after the chemo. It really strapped my body. It wrecked me. You wrecked me, baby. <laughs> so, I hope to see you and talk to you soon. Um, yeah, my hair is growing out. It's at this funky, weird length. <laughs> Anyways, gang, I love you. God bless. Peace. Bye.